All right, so now let's go ahead and use that formula that we just talked about, the nth partial sum formula. And let's go ahead and find the sum of the first 60 terms in the arithmetic series. Okay? So one thing about that formula that we just talked about, or just showed you the nth partial sum, the an is the exact same thing as the an for a series, a sequence. a1 is the same thing as sequence n is the same thing as sequence. So we haven't changed anything. Only thing is now is we have a different formula. That's the only difference there. It just disappeared on me like that. It's not cool yet. All right, so again, we should know what a n is, we should know what a1 is, and we should know what n is. So here, a1 is our first term, which is 9. We said a, a n is the very last term, or the term that we're looking for. And here we're looking for the 60th term, the, the um, sum of 60 terms. So that means this, this is the last number here. That means that is our a n. And here, how many terms are we looking at in all? We're looking at 60 terms in all. So since there are 60 terms in all, and it's going to equal 60, and our a n right here is that part there. That is also a 60. So that's our last term. That's our 60th term. So when we work this out, all we're doing is substitute the pieces in, put everything in the calculator, and be done. So we know n is 60. So that's the term, number term we're looking for. We know that a1 is 9. We know that a n is 304. We just put it to the calculator and find an answer. So the sum of the first 60 terms is 9,390. That's it. That's all you have to do. You just got to make sure you can find a n and all that great stuff and find what a1 is and then be able to figure out what n is and then you're done.